Farhan Zaidi stirring the pot Oof, man. with this quote that he gave to Susan Slusser a month ago, but it's just uh, just hitting the presses now. It's hot off the presses now, Goo. And he's talking about some of the challenges the Giants have. We're going to talk about that for sure. I want to talk about the Warriors. They play the Bucks yeah. tonight in Milwaukee. Starts a six-game road trip. TNT. But to me, there might be an issue bigger than the game that we heard about over the weekend. Talk about okay. that. And then the San Francisco 49ers, they got great news on uh, on Debo Samuel. No doubt about it. He's supposed to return at some point in the regular season. So 49ers, very, very good news. Warriors embark on a tough road trip, Goo. But Farhan Zaidi's comments, should I read them to you yeah. real quick? Oh, hell yeah. All right, let me put my glasses on. Read them again. The All readers. Right, here we go. This is what the general manager of the San Francisco Giants said. Um, I think it's a little bit of a polarizing place among players in terms of the desire to play there. This is sort of totally independent of the competitive situation, but geography, politics, whatever. When we're doing our research on free agents and we find that players aren't really that happy, even coming into town for a three-game series, they prob- they're probably not going to be that excited to play there for a long time. So I think that's part of what f- fueled our strategy of targeting guys with Bay Area ties. Free agency, is, is, free agency is really, really competitive, especially at the top of the market. Even when you think you can sign a player, you're probably not. That's just how it works. So when you don't think you're going to sign a player, you're definitely not going to sign a player. St- Farhan Zaidi. Steiny, I'm telling you, I said Giannis earlier, it's Middleton now. Mm. That is passing the buck. That is garbo. Like, that. that's making excuses, man. And while you do that and you say that, you offend every person that's from here. You were supposed to meet with this job, be one of us. But for you to have a narrative in your dome now about what you got to an uphill battle, no wonder you ain't closed the damn thing. That, Stani, this has to be the beginning of the end. It might be. 888-957-9570 is the number. It's also the Woo. number for the Xfinity Mobile text line. To me, there's well, there's more than two issues. Okay. But the big ones to me are that he said it, that your GM said it, obviously is a, fa- is a is a part of this. But now you got to, once you address that, and we will today, then there's another issue. Which is? Is there any truth to it? Is there any truth to it? Or can we absolutely not talk about that? It's taboo. Okay, I'll tell you what, partner, with the nice Canada shirt on. If it's true, then you're telling me something's just jumped off in the last umpteen years or months because, to me, I would never sign off on that and tell you it's true. Now, the world has changed around us, but this market, this is the one of the fourth, fifth, third largest market. This is an attraction. Barry had hometown. Like, I'm not buying that. Well, you can say, Goo, I don't think you went to school. You don't got the pedigree to know what he's talking. No, you took the job. And in your presser, you didn't. You took pride in this job, and you knew about his great history. So I'm saying hogwash on that, Steiny. Unless you huh? tell me well, something's changed, and you mentioned Stephen A. and Barkley, they're here overnight. They're here for a couple days. Okay, some doo doo on the ground. My thing is, it's something happening in every market. Close, and that's what bothers me. Is okay if this is something that's kind of weighing you down. Still close. And this is excuses to me. I'm looking at a story that appeared in SF Gate in November. All right. Let me double check that. Oh, it's from uh, November 2021. Okay. So what, about a year ago? A little over a year yeah. ago. The headline, it's from a local columnist. San Francisco has a major image problem. Mm. That's the headline in a San Francisco newspaper. I don't think it's any secret that San Francisco's reputation... Right. has declined over the course of the last okay. so many years. Right. Okay. Oh. Does that affect the free agent market? Does it affect, has it affected, we know it's affected one individual case, right? 
the pitcher who didn't sign here last year because the wife didn't want to live in San okay. Francisco. All right. Throw that name at me, Evan. You probably know that off the top of your head. But I got something for you. Uh, Evan's busy. Okay. So, uh, sorry. I didn't, uh, yeah, Suzuki. So, like, that's – you got it. Like, that's that, an example. Okay, okay, so there's an example. But you just said to us in the changeover, Steiny. I that, don't have an opinion right now. If you if you offer the most chicken, they'll come. You would think. So you didn't even come and judge with $400 million, which some people said would have got it done. You still tried to come in if you thought all that – that would have justified you knowing you got to come in and go Chris Tucker money talks, and you didn't do that. But I'm not far how you know what I'm starting to believe. Did he? He's a smart man. We know this book smart mm -hmm. because if you thought this to say this aloud, and you didn't think there were going to be ramifications, this could be he could have said it to get out of here. I don't think he's dumb enough to not know how severe. The, the locals would take what you just said and how you said it. And there could well, be truth to what, but right. every city's going through something. Well, but don't I, come back empty handed going to uh, first baseball said it player, before. Baseball said it before. Kmart, and then say, uh, the politics okay. and the, you know what I mean? That's, that is weak. Okay. So, so that's weak. He, he's on his way out. Okay. Well, let's say, okay, so two, Two years from now, will the new GM think to himself, it's really hard to sign free agents here in San Francisco just because of the political climate, its reputation is really shot, and for whatever reason, guys think it's dirty, they just don't want to come here, but won't, but is smart enough not to say it. That, that's why My I'm point is, like, okay. okay. You're it, smart enough we, to know we, we what can it all, means. We can all here. acknowledge that that's a dumb thing to say. Yep. Question is, is there any truth to it? Is there a sliver of truth to it? Is there no truth to it? How do we get that answer, Matt? I think you have to go on an individual case. I really do. You know, why didn't Bryce Harper sign here? Was he never going to sign here? Or, see, I believe, like, Bryce, we're talking about a player right. who, Bryce Harper, to me, would have signed here. He didn't not sign here because of the city. I don't believe that. I'm, I'm with you. I don't believe okay. that Bryce Harper said, you know what, it's come down to Philly and San Francisco, and San Francisco's oh, a pigsty. We, I, no, I don't we believe win that, one. that. I love you, Philly. We win that one. But on a case-by-case -case basis, maybe that part of it is a higher priority to some players. Okay. All right. All right. So, but again, what about my point about justifying overpaying if you know you got these hurdles that you feel are naturally in your way? And they didn't do that with Judge. Farhan didn't do it. But hey, I know things have changed here in the last couple of years. What do you think the great Bobby Evans would say if we asked him Well, first him of all, about, why would you call him the no, great Bobby Evans? No, I'm just saying he did some good stuff, Steiny. He did? But he Can never you name whispered. One? He never said anything into a mic. Can you name one good mic. thing he did? He never said he made the Giants a proud organization. He was part, And he put his money where his mouth was, and he went in. Sabian. Okay, all right. But, but he was part of it. What would they all say to this comment? They would say, we can't believe he said it. But do you want to talk about whether or not there's truth to it? To me, there's two conversations. I don't think anybody's going to get on the radio and say, good job by Farhan. Farhan. That was a smart thing to say. Of course it wasn't. I, the question even, is, yeah. how much truth is there okay. to it, if any? How do we, how do we, how do we quantify, how do we yeah. find out? I think it's, there's, I think there's, is Aaron, I, Aaron, yeah. Steiny, I understand San Francisco has problems. This is one of the greatest places to live. Then you could say, Goo, slow down. It used to be. A lot of stuff's going on. But no, you just said it earlier, and I ain't going to let it go because it hit me. Then you up the ante. If you really want to dance, how much it cost? It's true. Put that coffee down, Farhan. Just because you say this does not justify you failing. If, if Put he... that coffee down. You ain't closed nothing. Okay, what GM has? Uh, Bassett, where would he go? Toronto? I don't know where. But oh no, no, I mean, I mean, former Giant. Oh, Giants have never signed free agents like big boy free agents, other than Bonds. Chris Bryant. Well, that was a try. I, I don't. It's not what they do. But 
that you know what's not even I love you to death. I'm not like I don't have a I don't that, have a strong opinion. Okay, I'm San asking Francisco, a question. I where don't... is that on your ranking ranking city list? Doesn't supersede the GM crapping on the city. Like that's the story. He crapped. I'm talking about diaper crapped on where he's at. He told you what he thinks. So now what do you do? That there you that's the domino. I ain't talking pizza. You want to, like... Oh, yeah, Car Farhan, can we talk? Hey, look, you really into this? Because you ain't got no skins on the wall. You're striking out. You're batting about 111. And now you come out and say this. What? You're really fond of what you're doing. for? Is this the right fit for you?